What's up, girlie? Welcome back to my channel. We're getting ready to go thrifting, and I don't know what we're gonna do. We also gotta grab some food, because I'm, like, really hungry, but I kind of just wanted to get out today and do something fun, so I woke up a little bit early. I tried to wake up earlier, but it's, like, just now hitting noon, so that's still pretty early for me. It's better than how it was, like, all last week. I was waking up so late and, like, staying up late, and I'm trying to go to sleep earlier and, like, wake up earlier, because I like that type of routine, but... Before we get into it, I just want to like show you some sunglasses that I got off of Amazon. I got five pairs. They're called Sojo's. They also gave me a discount code. It's Michael Sojo's for 10% off. So I thought that was really cool. And let's check out what these sunglasses look like before I go thrifting. They come in this cute little box. Or I got five pair. One came in like these little boxes. And one came in a bigger box. Like a real bigger box. But I just um, already threw that one away. I like already took it out. But... Let's see, we're just going to go starting with the boxes down the line. I told them, I don't remember if I picked it out or I told them, but I said I like like just pink and black. So let's see what they look like. Here is the first black pair. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Let's see what the next pair looks like. These ones, hold up, what's the difference? These ones are a little bit slimmer, I feel like. Finally getting into some pink. These are so cute. I literally love these ones and they're really like tinted. Here's another pretty cute pink pair. These are like bigger. So this is kind of like whenever I'm sitting in the Bahamas this June underneath a palm tree. And then this pair came in like the really big box that I had already tossed out. So let's see if they're like any special or different because they came in a different box. I feel like they are really cute. So... I don't know what you think. I also think sunglasses looks well, not with my lighting, looks so cute on the head. I love, like, just sporting that in the summer, like, walking in the grocery store. There is one more pair. It's another black pair. I think that this might be my favorite out of all those black pair because I like the way that they're just, like, framed. I don't know. How would you describe it? I like the fit of them. Like, these ones are more circle. These ones are more square. I definitely lean towards the square. These three are my favorite. These two are really cute, too, but, you know, I'm gonna lean towards, like, the pink and the whites, but that was so much fun. Definitely use my code Michael Sojo for, like, 10% off. I'm a little disappointed, so I just left Tickled Pink, which is the thrift shop I was going to, or the thrift store, which was actually super cool. Like, I definitely want to come back here and check it out but i only found one thing but that's what sucked was i found a princess book like princess magic of the pegasus that movie but like in book version so i was going to get it just like for the toy room for the collection because i love the og princess movies and stuff but they said there was a ten dollar minimum to use a card so there was literally nothing else like i looked so hard for something else to buy but i was like uh i guess it's not worth like spending ten dollars on this little book but it sucks because that means i got nothing came here for nothing and now i don't know what to do i wanted to like get some food to go sit at a park but it's so freaking windy today you can't go sit outside and eat when it's this windy oh my god literally the <laughs> like when has it ever just said like freaking windy like it's usually like sunny or cloudy but no it's just straight up windy today it's so annoying i've been sitting here for like 10 minutes or probably 20 minutes like literally no joke just debating what to do because I did not want to go home yet like I just I literally woke up a little bit early because I wanted to do stuff like just be out like for a couple hours or whatever but um the wind is really throwing me off but I'm still going to go to a park near me and I'm going to pick up some food on the way I'm going to pick up some Qdoba so that's some food you got to kind of like sit and eat so I'm probably not going to get out and eat it just because it's like so windy I don't want my freaking tacos to blow away but I am going to um, just sit in the car and eat. And I think there's some good views at this park. So we'll see if that's true or not. All right, now I can go. We'll see if that's true, if this got some good views and maybe I'll be able to come back. But I mean, I might step out if like the wind's not bad. Like it's also like 50 today, a little bit cold. And obviously I wore shorts, that's just like me. But um, I don't think it's gonna be like it's not that bad it's just the wind is so bad i just drove around for like 30 minutes because this park is a lot bigger than i thought i got lost and i wanted to park here but then i drove around it like i passed it up because i wanted to see all my options and i could not find the spot again for the longest so i also almost cried broke down and just drove home before that just trying to get my qdoba because i went to one qdoba and i could not find the parking and then i found parking and it was like pay to park i was like pay to park so I just like 
was about to drive home, but then I started getting really upset. And I was like, if you're this upset, go to a different Qdoba and still just go out and have your day. So that's what I am doing. I'm also doing a few TikToks and uh, low-key, I'm wearing these like really tight shorts. I would unbutton them, but that's not a good look in a public park. <laughs> I'm buttoning your pants. <laughs> go ahead and get my TikToks out the way type deal. I also got chips and queso. Loki, the best part is, I can see all the boys playing basketball. <laughs> that's not why I wanted to park here though. It's just like the top of the mountain, that's why I wanted to park here. It's like the very highest point. I think I'm gonna watch some TikToks while I eat. I really don't have much to talk about today. Mm. If you've never had Qdoba, it's just like Chipotle. I think they're both equally as good. I don't think one is really better than the other. But I've had Qdoba a lot more than Chipotle. But they're also more popular in my area. <clears throat> mm. I get just grilled chicken, brown rice, and shredded cheese. I'm very plain. After I eat though, I'll step outside, walk around for a minute before I drive all the way home, and I'll show you just like the cool stuff I see while we're outside. We are taking a walk outside just to enjoy the nature, you know? I like never get a chance to do that. I also wanted to show TikTok that I'm vlogging on my vlogging camera. This is what I'm headed to. I wanted to check out this thing. It's like a little fountain with an angel on it. It's also a little bit cold and I'm wearing shorts. So we just gotta, I got this little sweater around me so I'm not too freezing, but I don't want to be out here for too, too long, you know? Look at how cool it looks. It says presented to the city of Louisville by Mr. and Mrs. I have no clue, John Logan, jo J. Hogan? I have no clue. 1904. I can't read it, but that's kind of cute. I want something like this outside my house whenever I'm rich, you know? I would go walk a trail, but because it's cold, I'm going to go walk back to the car. There's like the playgrounds. Um, yeah, let's see what's in that water. Nothing. Just looks real dirty. Look at how cute that tree is right there. It's like kind of leaning, but I just really like the flowers on it. There's like random steps. I want to go up it like I'm going through a portal. Hopefully I, there's not a lot of dog poop in this grass. Boom, I just stepped into my new life. What's up girly? I'm really excited because I'm also really hungry and I got these treats to try. They're like try treats from around the world. So let me read this little card I got. Um, I have a coupon code, so if you want 15% off your first box, it's Michael Duval XO, so that's super easy to remember. And it's just trytreats.com slash, subs slash subscribe. I'll make sure to put everything like on the screen or in the bio. But they sent me this just to try out, and it's like snacks from around the world, so I'm so excited. It says, it says snacks from around the world delivered to your door monthly. This is what it looks like whenever you open it. And now let's break it open and let's see what it looks like. There's so much in here. Ooh, I kind of want to flip you over for just a second. So look, whenever you open it, I got this card right here. It looks, oh, make sure it's on it. From Malaysia. So cute. Some facts about Malaysia. 
So all the snacks are from Malaysia. I'm actually reading some of the facts. Hang on. Let's pull everything out and then we'll kind of go through it. But look at this so far. I'm like looking with my eyes, not the camera. So I keep realizing the camera is like down angled. I'm going to pull it out and we're going to just try a few things. We're going to try as much as possible. I don't want to open something if, like, I think I'm going to eat it later. Might not eat it now. But I also want to take some pictures of this because I think it would be really fun. Really freaking cute. What's the first thing I should try? This is a panda pound cake. Do you see it? This smells pretty good. This is the panda cake. I don't really know what's in it or what it's supposed to be like. But, um, yeah, I have no clue. It just says luscious panda flavor. Pandom? Pandom? It's not panda, it's pandom. I don't know. I'm definitely saying something wrong. So, um, wrapped in that tangy, delightable sponge cake. It smells really good. Let's give it a try. Mmm. It's a little, like, dry. Okay, this, I'm gonna say all the bad things and the good things. Because, like, first, it's kind of like cornbread. And I don't like cornbread. But it's sweeter. Like, I like the flavor of it better than cornbread. Because that's why I don't like cornbread. But the texture is like cornbread. So, I'm just, like, really reading this card. And it says, um, that you'll find snacks in here that you rarely see outside of Asia. So, I just think that's so cool. Like, I honestly... I might sign up for the monthly thing using my own code. <laughs> I might like do that if I can. I don't know if it works like that. Wonder what I should try next. There's these little jelly things. I'm really excited to try one. Do you just eat it? Or is it jelly you spread on stuff? I just thought that through. Is this like you have to spread it? What kind of jelly is this? Oh yeah, you eat this. It's not like spreadable kind. It says on it that you eat it. Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> that was really good. It's just like jello. It's really good though. That was like. <laughs> sorry, that was like apple y. What do you want to see me try next? Should I get right into this? I'm scared for this one. Let's get right into it. Pawn crackers. These could be really good or really bad. This thing is very, like, so much air in it, you know? I have found everything to be hard to open. How do you guys over there in Malaysia open up your stuff? I'm just gonna actually rip this because it has, like, a rip, but bag of chips are supposed to open like this, right? I don't think it's that deep. I'm about to get scissors. I had to get scissors because I couldn't. I couldn't take it anymore. Really? Ooh, these smell crabby. Definitely smells like seafood. It smells like... I don't know. I, it smells like crab like, like fish food. It's, it's weird. First I thought it smelled like seafood and then it smells like fish food. This one? Mmm. I'm not sure about it. Cancer and reproductive harm. The hell? <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'm good. <laughs> That's the only one that says something like that, I think. That's so funny. Yeah, it don't taste that good anyways. Let's try out one of these next. This is a luxury cream wafer roll with strawberry cream filling. Oh, I didn't realize it was saying front and back. I gotta get that taste out of my mouth. Maybe I should eat one of these in the meantime because it's fast. I have a lot. There's like a lot of these strawberry gummies in there. Let's eat one of these while we are opening that. Look at them. It looks like a heart. It looks just like a heart.
tastes really good too. Oh, okay. So there's like two packs in here. Or three packs. Yeah, I think there's like three packs in here. You open a pack at a time. <laughs> My cat. <laughs> Once again, everything's hard to open. Okay, I was able to rip this one. Mmm. Um. Where's the filling? Hold up. Back up, cat. Can you go? I mean, I feel like I taste a little bit, but look. Can you move? Oh my. She's trying to get in the box. Look, where's the filling? <laughs> yeah, aren't these supposed to have filling? It says with strawberry filling. Well, where's the filling? That's a straw. Mmm. Hello? Yeah, they taste good, but like, where's the filling? I don't. It's just like a wafer. I am scared to try this cheese flavor potato biscuit. Let's save it for after this, actually. Let's do this first. This looks almost like a Twinkie strawberry flavored cake bro. Let's try this. This is what it looks like. It looks really cute. I'm like, once again, we're skimping on the filling. At least I see a tiny bit in there, but it's like a tiny, tiny bit. It's a little different at first. It's not like a Twinkie at all. But it's pretty good. I like it. I do like it. Before we get to that cheese cracker, this is honestly something that I want to like save, but I I feel like we have to try it and open it and try it, you know? I just honestly feel like we do. I don't know how long I wasn't recording for, but I'm about to scream. Just try to check. I literally have no clue when it stopped recording, but this is what I'm trying, and best thing in the box. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know if you got to see it or not, it's just like chocolate on chocolate with like sugar on it. It's so freaking good. Mmm. Did you see me try this? If not... I'll put a picture of it, but it was a little bit disappointing. It was just a little bit weird and like not a lot of cream filling, which, oh my God, did you see me try this? And there was no cream filling in it. It's still open. So this is that. I have no clue if it recorded or not, but I just got to show you again. Like, our Captain, like there's no cream filling in that. It's not for you. Get down, please. <laughs> Oh my god, did you see me eat the jelly? I don't know if it recorded me eating the jelly or not, but it's kind of just like taking a jello shot. I don't even know what flavor this one is. <laughs> I don't know what that flavor was, but it was really good. I got two more things to try that are equally weird. This is an oat crunch dark chocolate. Which sounds like something you eat in the morning. And I still have this potato biscuit. It's cheese flavored. So let's try. There's three of these in here. I look you want to save it. Ugh, but I feel like I need to try it. Just for the experiment. Let's try one. This is what it looks like. It smells really good. It tastes good, oaty, healthy, about what you would expect. I'm honestly not the biggest dark chocolate fan ever. I like, um, like light chocolate, milk chocolate, that's what it's called. And now for this, I don't know why I've been so scared to try this. It's a potato cheese cracker, potato cracker cheese flavored. Oh, let's get it open. 
Oop. Hey, this is what they look like. There's like four in here and they're so thin. I kind of love that. And it might just be like a potato chip. Let's try it. No. No, no, no. I don't like potatoes, y'all. I hate potatoes. It's not like a potato chip. It's like potato chip in an alternate reality where they made potato chips taste like potatoes. And it's horrible. <laughs> I don't like it. If you love, like, mashed potatoes or potatoes in general, you probably like this. But, ooh, not me. Not me. Oh, there's one thing left that we haven't tried. It's whatever is in this golden thing. So it doesn't even say anything. It just looks like this. And I have no clue what's in it. But let's see. Let's open it. This is what it looks like. Some sort of like candy or something. Like um, It reminds me of like butterscotch. It don't taste like potatoes. The, yellow, the little yellow one did not help. I need to eat this. Please be a good flavor. What if I was like, great, is potato flavored? <laughs> no. I don't know what that flavor was. It's not really strong enough for me to guess. Maybe that was like a pineapple, but pineapple's alright with me. I do have a few other things I can snack on, like my hollow and the cream filled lies. Because, I mean, did you see the packaging? Did it record that? That's cream filled, and mine are. Mihoi, you matey. Like, I could drink through this. And, oh, oh my god, imagine I might drink milk through this later. That would be so much fun. I'm just like, where's the cream? Where is it? Well, that was so much fun. I love most of those. And don't forget that if you want to try it, you can get 15% off using my code, Michael Duval XL. But I'm eating another strawberry. And I'm going to go edit a couple TikToks and watch Love is Blind season two. That's where I'm at. And then I will have watched all the seasons. I know it'll look rough, but I am once again on here to defend myself because of a choice that I made on TikTok. So I feel like the commenters are always like assuming the worst about me or like, I mentioned this before. I always feel like people are trying to come at me, but none of these people were literally trying to come at me. So I posted a decluttering video yesterday that I recorded like two days ago, just cleaning out my cabinets. And in that video, I decluttered a cup that was like a custom Hello Kitty cup. It was like a Starbucks cup and I had gotten it in my P.O. box. Now I've done these declutter videos in the past and I get a lot of cups in my P.O. box. And so I said like while I'm decluttering my kitchen, if I donate a cup that you've sent me, like I'm so sorry just because I get a lot in my P.O. box. Like I get a lot, not just cups, but I do get a lot of cups because people used to know I collect that. Oh, it's like almost supposed to poke my eye. But anyways, so I donate this cup, doesn't have my name on it or anything. And a lot of the comments are like, wow, you're donating fan mail. Like, it's so horrible that someone would make something for you and you would just get rid of it. Like, I can't believe you. And, um, for that, I would just say, like, that cup specifically, like, I didn't throw away fan mail. Like, I would never throw away fan mail. But if I get sent stuff from, like, stores or your small business, which that's where that cup came from. Not like it was a letter she wrote me that I threw away. She sent me something from her small business that I didn't need anymore, so I donated, which I've donated a lot of cups in the past. So I thought donating it to someone who would, like, maybe use it would be better than just keeping a whole bunch of stuff I don't need. Like, if I kept, like, a hundred of those cups and didn't need it, then I would have comments like, you need to get rid of them, like, you don't need to keep all those, whether a hundred different fans have made them or not. My online friends have sent me boxes. So me and my online friends do, like, these boxes that we send back and forth. And the stuff that I don't need in those boxes, like, I donate or get rid of. Because, like, I'm just so trying to declutter. Like, I plan on moving within a year or so. I need so much just gone. Like, I only need what I absolutely need. And I have, like, so much stuff from fans. Like, I could pull out, like, buckets full of letters, necklaces with my names on it, like, pictures of me that people have drawn, just stuff like that. Like, I don't throw stuff like that away or donate. It was just a random cup in the cabinet, you know? My cameras are going off. I don't know why. What's up, girlie? I'm about to go out to eat with my mom. So, that's gonna be fun. I don't know if I'll vlog while I'm out, though, because usually restaurants are, like... Sorry, my mouth is, like, saliva-aiding. <laughs> like, I'm... 
got a lot going on in my mouth because I was just eating some brownie bites, which are so freaking good. Like, sorry, I was craving those. Like, I'm drooling over them still. But I'm going out to eat with my mom real quick. And like I said, I don't know if I'll vlog there just because, you know, the restaurants be so busy. They'll play, like, loud music. But if I get a little clip in or anything, I'll let you know. What's up, girly? I low-key cheated on you. It's been, like, two days since I last picked up the vlogging camera. Where did my son go? But I just was focusing a lot on Snapchat, but I was also kind of in a rut. I don't know why I get into these ruts every now and then, but I think it's just like part of being alone. I gotta force myself to get out of them, so that's what I did today. And I want to show you a little bit of PR, then we're going to end the video, just because it's time to end the video and post a new one. I got some PR from AF94. I'm not very familiar with it. I've already opened it and looked at it. It came with these makeup wipes, which I'll definitely get to use. And here is their card. It says that they're carried in Ota, so a lot of you might know about it. But then here's all the products. I'm going to show you everything I'm going to keep and then show you everything I'm going to put in my, like, giveaway pile. I have a box full. I'll show you it. So this is a bronzer and highlight duo, and it kind of looks like a deodorant, so I want to keep it. These are some eyelashes, which I'll probably never get to wear, so I'll put that in the donate pile. This is a blush and like lipstick and I do want the I do want it for the blush. And this is a matte lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick, so I don't need that. This is an eyeshadow eye cream. Right? Yeah, shadow boxer eye cream. I don't think I need that. And this is a mascara, so I'm gonna take that. And this is another eye cream, so I don't need that. I thought about this. This is a lip tint. Is my stuff even been focused this whole time? I was not really looking at the camera, but um, this is a lip tint. I want to keep it just because I'm curious about it. You see how it looks? Weird. Weird. I don't want to try it right now, though, because I'm about to go get um, go to the pet store. Uh, focus on the right things. What is this? Oh, another one of those, like, cheek things. Yeah, I want to keep that. And then liquid marble eyeshadow looks really cool. I don't need that. So this is everything from this I'm going to give away to you guys. And this is everything that I'm keeping for me and the wipes. But I need to go ahead and end this vlog so we can start a new one. Uh, please subscribe and tell everyone in your house to subscribe. Just take their phones and do it for me, please, so I can hit 100K. That would just be like, I just want that silver plaque so bad so I can show it off. And then we'll start working towards a million. You'll hear me start to say that. But um, anyways, just leave a like and a comment, please, for me. And turn on the notification bells for you so that you don't miss any of my videos. And until the next vlog, I'll see you, girly. Bye.